What's up everyone, Dylan and Will see you. Welcome back to my Halloween special and today I'll be reviewing The Witch. It's directed by Robert Eggers and this film takes place in the 1630s and it stars Anya Taylor-Joy as Thomason who lives with her family and her family have been kicked out of the Commonwealth and so they have to try and survive further into the country and they're basically on the brink of starvation. But when they're being tormented and manipulated by some sort of witch in the forest, their family starts to fall apart. The thing I love about this film is that it doesn't go towards the cliche and conventional horror route. It doesn't go down that jump scare path. It focuses on this family and it focuses on what these scary aspects do to this family. And it's a slow burning horror that is constantly building and building tension and this sense of dread. And it's captivatingly haunting. The director Robert Eggers, he has these long takes and these slow camera movements to, to really draw out the tension and to really capture the eeriness. And as well as that, the moody atmosphere that's captured, it really brings us immediately into this world and it shows us the dread that the family is about to go through. And we watch as this family is being torn apart by the events that surround them. Their love for one another, their trust in each other, and their faith in God are all compromised because of the events that they go through. And you have this witch who is sort of manipulating and tormenting them in a very unconventional and creepy way. And I love how the director depicts the witch in this film. And all of this, all of this stuff involving the family's downfall, it all starts with Thomason looking after her younger brother who's a baby and she plays peekaboo with him and her last peekaboo the baby sam is gone and that scene is so creepy it always gets under my skin the acting in the film is great anya taylor joy is fantastic this is the best performance so far in her career and yeah i really love her performance everybody else delivers solid performances and i, I did find the young boy actor to be a bit on and off like, there are some parts in the movie where his acting is really good, like the possession scene, but there's also some parts where his acting is a bit dry in terms of his deliverance of lines and his expressions. But overall, he delivers a pretty good performance. Everybody delivers solid performances that add to the whole dynamic of the family, and so you care about them. And I've always said this in horror movies, if you care about the characters and you care about the family and what's happening to them, then it makes the whole experience of the horror film a lot more terrifying because you care about them. And that's what this movie nails, especially when everybody in the family is pointing fingers at each other. Because when they finally realize that some witchcraft shit is going on, they start becoming weary of everything. They all have this paranoia, and when you add the isolated location into the mix and the somber and greyish shadowy look of the film, it makes this movie a very haunting and depressing experience involving this family. And as the movie goes on, it's constantly building and building this eeriness and this tension, and it just all builds up to the ending. The ending of this film is so screwed up. Like, the more you think about it, the more fucked it gets. And if you look at the film from a different angle, it's actually kind of a happy ending. So I'm going to get into the ending here, I'm going to get into spoilers, so if you don't want to know about the ending, click out now. So the ending of the film, the reason why it's screwed up, but at the same time it's a happy ending, is because Thomason, she signs her soul over to the devil and the devil was disguised as Black Phillip, the goat. And yeah, Thomason, she signs her soul over to the devil because it was the only option that she had left. It was either stay at the house and die from starvation, or go back to the Commonwealth and tell everybody what happened and then be trialed for being a witch. So it makes the downfall of her character so tragic and she also lost her faith in God and she killed her mum in self-defense so she believes that she's not welcomed into heaven. So the only option for her is to sign her soul over to the devil and it's really fucked. But the reason why it's also a happy ending is because Thomason was always marginalized by her parents. She was always oppressed by her mum and dad's puritanical beliefs. 
And that's why they got kicked out of the Commonwealth in the first place. And Thomason, she was almost kicked out of the family. And the reason that she was almost kicked out of the family was not just because of the whole baby incident, but also because of her sexuality. Her sexuality was becoming a burden to her parents. She was turning into this beautiful young lady and it was becoming a distraction for them, especially to her younger brother, Caleb. And so, Thomason joining the coven and walking into the forest and then floating into the sky and laughing, that's her finally feeling freedom and liberation. It's her finally getting the chance to explore who she is for the first time. And you can also see the ending as a sort of spin on feminism. So yeah, the movie has so many layers in its storytelling, especially at the end. And if you look at the film as a whole, the slow burn and the tension building and the atmosphere building and the sense of dread and also the great foreshadowing and the screeching and haunting score, it all combines together to make the ending of the film so satisfying. And if you look at what the director was trying to go for, then the ending of the film to me is perfect. However, this film isn't perfect. I do have a couple minor flaws with it. One of them has to do with what I mentioned before with the young boy actor. I thought his acting was on and off throughout the whole movie. But my main problem with the film has to do with the first act, the pacing in the first act. Like the rest of the film, it has this slow burning build up and it's so good, it's so eerie. But the first act has a bit of a wonky pace. But overall, The Witch is a slow burning horror that is just so creepy and eerie. And it delivers on the darker elements of human emotion. I'm gonna give The Witch an A minus. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more horror movie reviews in my Halloween special. Okie dokie, guacamole. Let me know what you guys thought about the movie down in the comments, I'd love to hear it. And if you guys like this video and you wanna see more, click subscribe and I'll see you later.